episode 233 of the Downward Facing Spiritual Spiral podcast. It's been it's been my longest delay since recording a podcast, so I will rewind a bit and and sort of just reflect back as to uh, I'll I'll reflect back on why it's been over a month since I've recorded a podcast, but I'm happy you're here. I did have a great conversation with my friend uh, Larissa Corso. So that podcast will post in the next couple weeks. Um, but I'm curious if, if you relate to what I'm about to express here on, on today's episode. Um, all has been fantastic. I, I think before I had a, I went on vacation about two weeks ago or two and a half weeks ago, I went to the French Polynesian. Uh, I went to the French Polynesian Islands to celebrate my 50th birthday, which was one of the greatest weeks of my life. I, I had never expected, I've been to Hawaii before and I've been to Mexico many times, um, but I have never experienced water so warm and calm and beautiful. And, and I really felt like I was on an island. And obviously I was, I've been on an island before uh, in Kauai. Uh, I've been in the tropical regions of, of Mexico uh, in Tulum and Playa del Carmen, but there was something about um, being somewhere new, even further out in the Pacific, where I did feel a level of isolation and calm that I have been felt before on a vacation. The weather was was superb. It's like 80, 85 degrees. I think it rained for about 15 minutes every day, and then it would get sunny pretty much immediately. Uh, the food was really good. People were really nice. Here comes my cat, Nelly, just to say hello. And, but even before, and then, oh, and then of course I get COVID for the first time once I get back. Thankfully, I get it as soon as I'm back. Um, and you know, it, it was there was a couple of days there that was it was pretty bad. It felt like the flu, but you know, I'm I'm eight eight nine days in now, and you can tell I'm pretty much back to normal. My voice is pretty close to normal again. So the, my first time catching COVID in, in three and a half years since the beginning of of COVID, I finally um, caught it. But but all is good. All is fine. As as I suspected, I, I would be okay. I'm in pretty good health. But I think before even my trip, I was, I was really thinking about a couple things, how we live in a day and age right now where I think it's the, the we are living, living in the golden age of consumerism, where you can consume to your heart's content pretty much anything you want. You can watch television television shows upon television shows if you like Taylor Swift you could spend the next 5 weeks on on YouTube watching nonstop videos of Taylor Swift concerts uh if you like um you too if you're curious about becoming a computer programmer you could go onto YouTube or take classes online and become a computer programmer you literally consume can consume uh whatever you want and I think about four or five weeks ago, I just sort of became exhausted by it all. I even became exhausted about or, or from my podcast. I became, and I realized my podcast isn't really about consumerism, but I just think you can do so many different things now with your time, be it reading things, writing something. Um, I just wanted to stop. I think I just needed a break. And I still feel that way, even after my vacation. I know I'm recording a podcast right now. But I don't know. I'm really sort of at a crossroads right now. I'm really thinking about what's next creatively. I'm making a record, making some new music. Uh, I'm writing poetry for Medium right now. I'm trying to you know, release or write a poem. And I'll actually read one or two to you before we go. Um, I just, I'm tired of, of, of consuming. I'm just, I was doing it before my vacation. I was, I love basketball. And so I was consuming all these podcasts about basketball. And I was reading all these articles on Twitter about basketball. And, and it's sort of, um, I think it's just exhausting. I was just exhausted from being a part of this culture where um, 
you can consume to your heart's content. And I guess it's it's kind of beautiful in a way. And and but but I think I guess my point here, and I'll I'll ask you this question: Are you just sort of consuming nonstop, or if, are you going on Amazon and constantly shopping? Are you constantly online searching? Are you constantly online reading this article and that article? Is it just are you in this constant state of of ingesting information for no rhyme or reason? Do you have a moment where you're just pausing? and reflecting and taking a break. And I feel like um, I've really needed that over the last five weeks. And it has nothing to do with with my birthday. I was even feeling it beforehand. I'm sort of trying to become more intentional about why I'm consuming something. What am I consuming? Am I just sort of on this fast-paced racetrack where it's just gobbling up information as quickly as possible? And then that sort of then leads me to this point of, we're all consuming, but but does it even matter? Like, what are we doing with our time? What's really valuable? What's What are you doing with your time to make it valuable and seem worthwhile? And one thing I also notice about myself that I'm trying to stop is just the, the nonstop worrying about anything, worrying about getting COVID, worrying about getting food poisoning on my trip, worrying about the plane ride, uh, worrying about the food in Tahiti, uh, worrying about uh, money, worrying about where is my next inspiration going to come from. It's just like, it almost feels like it's, a, it's another level of consuming. Like your brain needs to constantly be um, titillated and thinking and, and worrying and consuming. And it's just sort of like, I had enough. And I, I still feel that way. And then I've been reading these articles and listening to some other artists like Sheryl Crow talk, and she's so incredibly successful, but even she can tell the difference now. Like, can you go to a concert without having a phone in your hand? Can you go to dinner and just talk to the person you're with without the phone? Can you go anywhere without taking photos and then having to post them? It's like, can you just do one thing and that's it. I didn't post any photos of my trip while I was gone. I'm, I'm very intentional about that because if I post a photo on social media, then I'm, I'm going to be curious what people think about it. And, and it's, it's, it's so silly and, and infantile, but that's how my brain works. Um, I just wanted to go on vacation and just the vacation was all I needed. And I think it's just sort of it's just an exhausting time right now. It's, I guess, you know, on the one hand, it's exciting because we do like to consume. We're, we're like little worker bees or, or ants. We'll, we'll just consume to our heart's content and then we'll go to sleep. And then tomorrow we're going to pick up our phone or pick up the television or, or watch television and, and read this and read that. And it's just, at some point, do you reach a point where you're just exhausted and you've had enough? Do you even realize that um, you're just like in this, this this haze of, of consumption is it is it nonstop for you and and I guess I've I was feeling that before my trip and it it feels good to consume it feels good to listen to podcasts all the time and and sort of um, be a part of, of uh, feeling your system, your, your, your emotional system, your nervous system. I think it just, it, it either feels normal or it feels good to just be ingesting all the time or to keep the brain titillated, to keep it busy with, with thoughts or worries or consumption. But I feel like it's, it's getting in the way of, of not only balance and, and mental health, good mental health, but I think it also um, is interrupting our culture's um, just own need to create and think for themselves. Like, like this hot topic right now is AI and chat GBT and, and what is it doing to the entertainment industry and how can people use it where they don't even need writers anymore. They can just use AI. 
or maybe just spit out an idea that AI will come up with, and then you throw it to the writers and see if you can improve this. It's like, um, it, it just, it, I feel the robotic tendencies in our culture right now. And it's, um, it's, I guess it's, how can we, how can we take a break from all of that? How can we be different? How can we be unique? How can we take a breath and relax and, and not feel the innate need to do what everybody else is doing? And, and it's like TikTok and Twitter and social media and consuming and be on Amazon and shopping and having things delivered and, and having food delivered. And, and it's like, I, I've just reached a tipping point where it, and as much as I think I do such a great job of resisting tech and uh, resisting the the tendencies of our culture, um, I obviously was feeling like I could do better. And it was all sort of confirmed when I was on my vacation. It's like, God, it feels so good to just not be inundated with all the minutia, all the noise, the, the Fox News, the CNN, and everything that they throw at our faces every day, all it does is create more drama and worry. And so how often are you in that space? How much of your time is spent worrying about minutia? How much of your time is spent just consuming all day long? Watching television, going on Twitter, reading articles on The Atlantic, the free press, uh, when are you actually like thinking for yourself and being productive and, and, and creating, being active, not just like being a zombie or a sponge and just soaking up nonstop information? It's sort of like, and what are you going to do with it all? It's like all the time that our culture spends listening to Joe Rogan podcasts or um Jordan Peterson podcast, all these hundreds of millions of podcasts, even this one, it's like, are any of these things that you're ingesting, are, are any of them actually motivating you to try something new, to do something, or are you just listening and then moving on to the next thing that you listen to? Is it just one item after another where you're just consuming? What gets you to stop and, and just sort of be, just live? Go out to dinner, go for a walk, try something new. Can, can you do anything without, you know, the headphones on, the, con the consumption wheel just constantly spinning around and around? So that's sort of why I stopped um, recording a podcast. And I just, I don't know, I'm just really reflecting about, you know, what's next? What do I want to do next? Even creatively, it's like, what do I want to do? And I know a lot of other artists, uh, creator friends of mine are sort of in the same headspace. It's like, also, what do you want to do into a world where nobody like gives a fuck? Like everybody's just sort of doing their own thing. What does it take to get anybody's attention? What does it take to get people to care about something that's art? What does it take to get a group of people to, to go to a show to to watch a new show or watch a new band or go to a pay, go to a new art show like what so many of my artist friends are like fuck it it's impossible to get anybody to care and i think it's because everybody is so addicted to sort of the the algorithm um that is being fed to them every day by tiktok or twitter they're just constantly in this wheel of consumption and it's going to take like this huge miracle to get people off that hamster wheel. So let me let me read you something that I wrote. Yeah, follow me on Medium. I'm going to start using Medium and see how long that sticks. <laughs> um, I don't know, just write poetry and and share it. I just want my brain to get into the uh, the mode of creating again. I mean, I'm making music and it's feeling really good, but. I want something else. I'm not sure yet what, but uh, let me read this to you. It's called Your Brain is Fried Chicken. Careless and wasteful, time has no meaning. My words have no meaning, just like my life. No one cares because they're all caught up in themselves. 
caught up in the latest distraction. What's pulling you away from the moment? New fame? New handbags? A new cat trick on Twitter? The latest gadget to titillate your soul. I can't even sit still for more than two minutes without the need for corn syrup. The culture is breaking and the only way to put a band-aid on our souls is to take a step back. Take a jump off the edge and never come back. Don't come back unless you're ready for your brain to feel like fried chicken. Deep fried brains, like screaming trees desperate for a drop of water, to feel relevant and important, worthy of a page, a click or a moment of relevance. Before no one, before no one cares, which is right now, this moment, all the thoughts and the things that you think are important, no one really cares. Everything you think about doesn't matter. Each day you decide if you want to focus on some new level of BS that takes your mind away from truth. YouTube, Twitter, Facebook, IG, Tick, so many options to suck your soul dry. I'm starting to shake. I need to get back to a sense of thrill, a fake sense of thrill where my brain is bombarded with noise with emotion, something other than this moment. I can't live in the moment anymore. I have too many apps to tend to. Like a garden, a garden of evil doing nothing but sucking your soul dry. Suck, suck, suck. Keep sucking until your brain is fried. It's too late. You're already fried like a big bucket of chicken. Drip, drip, drip. Your brain drips of grease all fried and gooey to the touch. So there you go. Is your brain fried? Is your soul fried like deep fried chicken? Are you even aware of it? Is your brain dripping like grease because it's so fried from the nonstop glaze at your phone or your computer? Can you willfully take a break? Can you get bored? I'll leave you with that for today. Yeah, I'm at a crossroads right now. We'll see where this goes. I've even thought about recording a new podcast, like coming up with a new show. But I, I've developed this audience on this podcast, so it's sort of like, gosh, do I want to re re evolve or do not not re-evolve or do I want to sort of like rebrand or come up with a whole new podcast when I have this one it's it's something that I'm really unsure what to do um but for now you know where to find me on IG at Eddie Cohn or the spiritual spiral podcast on Twitter you can find all my writings on medium any questions please reach out and if you enjoy the show it'd be incredible if you share it with your friends Maybe head over to iTunes and write a review. I'll be back probably in about a week or two with my guest, Larissa Corso. I might record a podcast before that. But as always, thanks so much for listening, supporting, and being a part of the Downward Facing Spiritual Spiral podcast.